right, thank you so much. Helping you live healthy today. I think when I talked about back pain, everyone in the studio just like shook their head. You know, everyone can relate to this. So you ever feel like maybe you have a pinched nerve or maybe it's a herniated disc. Maybe you just don't know, but you just have persistent neck or back pain and a massage just doesn't work. So Dr. Kenneth Hill, a neurospine surgeon at Memorial is here today with some innovative, minimally invasive options to help improve the health of our spine. All right, so first talk about what that feels like because you know, people kind of walk and talk with back pain all the time. They pop a pill and they keep it moving, but it does get sometimes to the point that it's debilitating. Yeah, and, and it's very important to understand that there's a difference between muscular pain and nerve pain. Mm -hmm. As a physician, we try to classify it under two different different two different categories. So a muscular pain is that deep, achy pain that you can point to and say, oh, it hurts right here. Yeah, okay. um, where a nerve pain is something that kind of ra radiates, so it'll go down your arm. And then second would be the characteristic of the pain. So that achy pain is the muscular pain. Nerve pain is more of an electric shot, pins and needles, um, something that you know goes right. down your and arm. And it may not be all the time, right? It may just kind of hit you and you're like, Ooh, what was that? Absolutely, absolutely. It's not, it doesn't have to be constant for it to be a nerve pain. Um, and people throughout their life actually will have episodes where they have nerve pain that will be um, treated successfully and will go away and then may come back right. later. So. What, are, what are those red flags though that you know you definitely need to take it one step further and see the doctor? Yeah, so you know, we like to say that 75 to 80 percent of all disc herniations or nerve pain can be, re, be treated successfully with conservative therapy. Mm -hmm. That includes anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, avoidance maneuvers, things like that. But whenever it fails those um, categories, then we need to come see somebody like my colleagues and I at Memorial Neurospine. I remember my dad in his late 60s, he was kind of like, oh, my back, and he was a physical therapist. So he knew how to like tighten his muscles and his abs Absolutely. to help to relieve some of that pain. Absolutely. The best thing that you can probably do for chronic back pain is core strengthening activities. Wow, yeah. So that's the core stuff. being the, <laughs> the hard stuff, yeah. absolutely. Core being abdominal and back strengthening activities. That's the best thing for long-term spinal health. Right, and so when that doesn't work or you fail to do it and you do have a problem, how do, you, how do you address the herniated disc? So there's different ways to address the herniated disc. Um, we, for many decades, we have done it with surgery, specifically in the neck where you go through the front of the neck and you can do, um, where you can take out the disc material itself, go back, decompress the nerves. These are the nerves coming out. And then we put a bone supplement in the center there and then kind of fuse it. There are individuals that can go back to full contact sports doing things like that. Yeah, um, oh, we were talking, pa Peyton Manning. I mean, he had it, he continued to play. Absolutely. Absolutely. He had a neck fusion and then went back to the Denver Broncos and won the Super Bowl. Yeah, so that's yeah. a good procedure. But more recently, we are trying to do more uh, minimally invasive or motion preservation surgery. So artificial discs instead of fusion or going from the back of the neck and just trying to decompress the nerve right. and save the motion of that neck. And the recovery for something like that versus the actual surgery. So both of them are surgery, oh, but okay. the, the recovery is a little bit shorter for the motion preservation right. or minimally invasive procedures. Yeah, so there's no reason why you shouldn't go if you're having pain. Just at least get assessed and see what your options are. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what we're here for. You want to make sure that you go to somebody that is well-versed in all treatment yeah. options for the spine like we do at uh, Memorial. I mean, we do not have to live in pain, you know, right? I think that's the key here. And it, it, it's such a, it, a, a important component. It's our spine. You Absolutely. Know? Everything we do, we need it to be healthy. So start now, though. Let's work our abs. Absolutely. Right. Always, always engaged. Thanks so much.